In this video, I'm going to talk about a few surprising lessons I took from my journey to lose weight by using the app called Noom. Noom is an app that helps you lose weight by using CBT or Cognitive Behavioral Before we get into the meat of the video, I would like to welcome you. Hi, my name is Sofia. I'm a business manager. I'm a mother. And in this channel, I am sharing tips, techniques and experience on how we can live a more productive and more fulfilled life. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you click on the subscribe button and the notification button below the little bell thing so you can be notified of any new videos that are coming up. And I promise you I will be bringing more entertaining and more valuable videos your way in the future. So let's go back to Noom. So just a little bit of background. I have gained a lot of weight since the birth of my second child. And I have to admit that the last few years when I was working from home, etc., and with all the stress, I kind of let go of my body. So this year, I have decided that this is the year that I am going to take care of myself. So I signed up for CrossFit. I was looking for accountability solutions so I can keep my eating habits on track. And I thought of trying Noom because I heard in the reviews that it helps you bring more long-lasting changes in the way you eat and in the way you think about food. So here is how Noom helped me understand how to change my habits. When I first tried out Noom, I thought there is nothing special about it. It's just an application that helps you easily log what you eat and how much you weigh, and it gives you little nuggets of advice on nutrition and the psychology of eating. So I didn't think that much about it. But here's what I learned about building habits. Lesson number one. When it comes to building habits, the first step is self-awareness. We might think that we are eating well, for example, we might think that we are exercising. We might think that we are the best in what we do. But the truth of the matter is, if there is no measure of comparison, if there is no benchmark, then we don't really know if we are doing something wrong and we don't really know if there is something we could change. I read a surprising statistic in Noom that says that 60% of people underestimate how much calories they're eating. That's huge, right? And it shows the importance of understanding and being aware of your actions and how much they compare to what we should be doing in order to achieve a goal. Now here is the thing about self-awareness. We cannot really understand where we are at unless we have a measure of comparison. So if I take it back to the business world, let's take an objective measure of success, like the revenue of a business. We cannot, we cannot really judge if the revenue of the business is good or bad unless we have a measure of comparison, unless we compare it with a goal unless we compare it with a competitor, etc. As I said before, self-awareness is the first step, but it is not merely enough to help us change our habits. I'm going to expand more on that later, but before I do that, I want to ask you to put in the comments if you have found lately surprising ways that help you change your habits, that help you become better, that help you become more productive. Let's continue the conversation in the comments because I'm sure there is a lot to be said about how humans can change. The second surprising thing I noticed about Noom was that the app was asking me to dedicate a few minutes per day to study and to read the lessons that they had inside the app. I thought, you know what, I like learning and I think if I am continuing to learn, I will improve the way that I look at nutrition, I will improve the way I think about it. And this happened, but honestly, I knew most of the things that were written there. What happened though, was that reading about nutrition, reading about psychology, it increased my motivation. For me, learning helps me to be motivated. And I will give you an example. Let's imagine that today I have to do some cleaning. There are some days that I'm tired and um, I don't feel motivated to do that. So what I do is that I open YouTube 
and I watch cleaning videos and somehow by watching other women cleaning or other men, you know, it's not a gender thing. When I'm watching other people cleaning, I start to feel like, you know what, I, I want to clean also. I want to see my house clean. <laughs> and the same happens with nutrition and the same ha thing happens with, I think, many aspects in life. If you start studying a subject and if you see other people working on something, you get motivated to do it yourself. The third thing I liked about Noom is that it has these notifications. I don't like I don't usually like notifications because they feel unproductive to me, especially with some apps that are really trying to get my attention. But there were a few days where I had fallen off the wagon. I didn't log what I was eating. I was, you know, not following the advice. So what happened with Noom is that I was getting these nudging notifications and it made me think to myself, you know what, yesterday is in the past. It was a bad day, I wasn't feeling well, but today is a new day. And today I can go back to building these habits. I can go back to the person that I want to be. The fact that I was getting the encouragement to start another day, start logging what I ate, it made those moments less significant. Now, I will tell you why this is important for me personally. I am a very enthusiastic person, and when it comes to starting new things, I get very excited in the beginning. I give all myself into this something that I decided to do. And then with many things, after a while, my motivation goes down. And if there is an event that prevents me from continuing with my routine, then my motivation drops and I feel like I failed. Let me give you one example. I started this YouTube channel a few months ago and during the Christmas holidays, I couldn't really film or record any videos because I had the kids at home. So what happened was that even though I decided to stop creating videos temporarily, this temporary pause lasted longer than I wanted because there was always something that was preventing me from starting again. Things like, you know, being sick, my family and I tested positive for COVID last week, things like, you know, issues with my equipment, etc. It, it takes a bit of motivation to restart. That's what I'm trying to say. And when it comes to nutrition, I think what Noom is doing is really good. These encouraging notifications that I get from Noom, uh, they help me go back every day. They help me, you know, continue on this journey and, uh, you know, stop feeling sorry for myself. Finally, and I think this is the biggest learning from this journey, is that Noom was giving me signals when I was doing a good job and it made me feel good about my journey. For example, the other day, I logged that I ate some vegetables and Noom said, do you know that only 10% of the users eat more than two green foods a day. And I was thinking to myself, yeah, I'm in the top 90th percentile. I'm doing good. So yeah, the most surprising thing and the most helpful thing was to make me feel that I was doing a good job. I was actually watching a podcast yesterday. I'm going to link it down below where the lady that was talking, she's a psychologist and she was saying that if we think that we are depriving ourselves, if we think that we are hungry, then our body goes into survival mode and it's actually preserving the fat in our, in our body and it's preventing us to lose weight. On the other hand, if we feel like we are exercising enough, if we feel like we are eating enough, our body believes that as well and our body is behaving accordingly. So our body doesn't go into stress mode and somehow we are losing the weight easier. So in conclusion, here are the four things that I learned from Noom about how to change my habits and how to reach a goal. Number one, build self-awareness and have a measure of comparison. Number two, study the topic or watch other people doing it. Number three, Treat every day like a new day. It doesn't matter if yesterday you didn't manage to achieve what you wanted to achieve. Today is a new day and you can always restart. And number four, believe that you're doing enough. If you're constantly stressing yourself about something, then there are more chances that you will give up on it.
So that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm going to do more videos related to building habits, to changing your life. So I would love it if you join me on this journey and I would love it if you connect with me in the comments or you click on the subscribe button.